It's sunnier than most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. Hey guys, it's Dre and today I'm here with my apartment tour. Finally, I know it's been forever since I said I was gonna post it. We made it, we're finally here. If you guys don't know me, I'm Drea. I do a lot of mid-sized body positive content here and I also do some New York City vlogs and lifestyle vlogs in general. If you guys wanna subscribe, please do so. Give this video a thumbs up. I do want to mention that I live in a one bedroom apartment in New York City with my boyfriend. It's about 650 to 700 square feet. At least that's what they advertise it as. You never really know here um, unless you really measure it yourself. I live in the Gramercy Kipps Bay area of Manhattan. Like I really, really like my neighborhood. With that being said, let's just get started into my apartment tour and I'm really excited to show you guys my space. All right, so this is my front door. I'm gonna do this like this. We've got kind of a narrow hallway right over here and then right over here, we've got essentially another narrow area that we have our laundry hamper right here originally it was in our bedroom but we like it a lot better out here instead there's a blanket that we usually use on picnics right over here we've got where we carry all our mail brandon usually picks up the mail and then we just like bring it over here but anyways right here is kind of where i throw my bags brandon usually like puts his mask there his keys these are the current two bags that i'm using right now so those are there this is actually our bathroom but i'm gonna come back to that later we right here have a little light and then right over here we have our intercom. This is a pretty old intercom as you guys can see, but it works. Anyways, that's an intercom. It's not super exciting. <laughs> Going in to the living room. Do you think about what you're running from? So you guys can kind of see from the living room, the door is over there, the entrance is right over there, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, all the way back there. I would, I guess, essentially call this kind of railroad style, but I'm not sure. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I will be linking everything down below that I can in the description box, just in case you guys are wondering. So we got this bar cabinet from Wayfair. I think it's so cute. Brandon actually got this diffuser from Pottery Barn. He ended up picking these up, so I'm gonna have to ask him where he got those when he gets home. Oh, I thought that was dirt, but it's actually just the marble. I was like, ew, sorry. <laughs> this right here, this tray, he also picked up either from Pottery Barn or West Elm. Again, I will link everything down below. This corkscrew we got from West Elm, but I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't work that well, so we just kind of have it here for just like aesthetics, I guess, but it really doesn't work, so I don't really recommend it unless you just want it just for it to be pretty. This hello sign is usually lit. It's a neon sign. We think it's really cute in here, especially at nighttime. When we have friends over and stuff, it gives off a really cute ambiance. This is the bar cabinet, and then we have some wine glasses in there. We have some wine in there, and then we open it, and we have alcohol. <laughs> More glasses, wine glasses, champagne glasses, and the actual corkscrew we use, which is this really cute gold one my sister got me. And then, yeah, again, more alcohol. So we were not, like, we don't drink a lot. Like, I'm gonna be honest. We're not, like, around this area very much. We got this shelving unit from Target. It was, like, $140 or something. It was really inexpensive and I actually think it's very very cute. I kind of have my pothos plant right here. She's a real one. I've got some fun knickknacks. Again, we'll link everything down below that I can. Some of these I might not be able to because this box was gifted from my grandma and then this was also gifted from my grandma. And this right over here is from Nordstrom. That is from Target. Don't know if they have it but I will look it up. Just some books, some more books. This little plant is from Target. This little vase is from Target. Going down, we used to have a plant here and she died. So that was a very sad moment for us as it was a money plant. And then we have a catch-all that Brandon picked up from Pottery Barn, I think. And then we've got these baskets down here. And these baskets have my makeup and some canvas bags for grocery shopping and stuff. And then right in here, we have a lot of cleaning products. So this is just a storage system. But anyways, in this corner, I kind of have like my big tripod, my mini tripod. And so that is this little corner of the room going over here. This little plant right here, also I hate the cords. I still don't really know what to do with them. They're just kind of living their life there. I've 
not been treating my plants as nicely as I should, okay? I know that, okay? Plant lovers don't come for me. There was a whole thing, okay? She is trying her best. This buffet I got from Wayfair, so it was actually really inexpensive. It was like 200 and something dollars, um, and I really like it. It has some storage right in here, quite nice. Brandon has his Xbox right there. It's dusty, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a duster. It takes me a while. I've got a candle right in there. Okay, you guys are definitely gonna see my dust now and you guys are gonna judge me. But anyway, it says Opal House, I'm pretty sure, or Opal Passion Fruit and Amber. It's like a Target brand. That's in there, super cute. Right here, we have our finals. We have a Glass Animals one right on top. We have other random records right in there. And then right in here, we have our GameCube that my mom sent me from home. Um, just an Apple TV box and then just some other stuff and then under here we have just a lot of other games and movies and Headsets for Brandon. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be really embarrassing because it's so dusty But going above right over here. We've got our Apple TV Brandon has some Sono speakers up there. We have our plant this little pod is from I think I got her at the hardware store, but if I find her on Amazon, I'll link it down below. This record player is from Urban Outfitters. Honestly, not the best quality, but it looks really nice, so we got her anyway. This little tray, honestly, Brandon just kind of like threw here and it's been living here for a while now. We haven't taken it off, but it's kind of where he burns his incense and it just, it piles on, it falls there. Yeah, we have a little like foldable table here. We kind of use this sometimes for when we're eating dinner or whatever. We obviously don't have a dinner table around here, so. That's what we use. And then this corner right over here, we have a black foldable desk. Brandon picked it up from the Salvation Army for like $10. So I don't know. I think it's like an Amazon thing, maybe a bit Bath and Beyond thing. This chair right here is actually so comfortable. She is from Target. So she is amazing. I really love her. This is essentially Brandon's desk too, but we kind of just throw random things there. Um, as of now, we have my other Pothos plant right over here and then we have some dead roses from a long ass time ago but we really like them and then i have a little basket right over here where brandon just like puts scotch tape and other random stuff that he uses for whatever he needs going into this section in between the windows we have this tapestry this tapestry is from etsy really really pretty so i really like her this armchair we got from it's a west elm but we got it second hand from a girl that had only had it for like six months on facebook marketplace they this is from Target, as you guys can see where we are. This right here is from Ikea, and this is where I keep all my shoes. And so on. I do wanna get some other taller things or something there. I don't know, it might compete with that. Something, maybe, maybe some herbs, I'm not sure. That mat for working out. This basket right over here is from H&M. But this right here is the fire escape. And it's quite nice. I really like sitting out here sometimes and just like taking some fresh air. It's a good, it's a good time. I really like the fact that we have a fire escape. We got all of these frames from Ikea. We got all of the actual prints from Society6. This couch is from West Elm, but we also got this couch secondhand from a really cute couple. Great, and they had barely used it. So I will link it down below, but I actually think this specific model is like out already. They don't distribute it anymore. I know that they have other couches that look very similar to this one. This pillow right here is from TJ Maxx or Marshalls and this one is from Target. That one is from Target. This blanket is also from Target. And going into this corner of the apartment, this right over here, this like flower ladder right over here is from Ikea. The plants are also fake plants from Ikea as well. This mirror is from Ikea, it's the Hubbit mirror. I love this mirror, it's so nice, it's so large, so great. These stools that are stacked on top of each other, they're actually from Ikea as well. So they're really nice. I really like it. I usually sit here and do my makeup right over there. This coffee table, again, we got from Facebook Marketplace, but it is originally, I think, from like Wayfair or something. It's actually a really inexpensive coffee table. It's not the best quality, but like for now, it's like it's fine. And then this in the center piece right here, we've got some cute coasters. I think these coasters are from West Elm as well. We've got a Calming Waves candle. Pretty sure it's from like TJ Maxx or something, but we need to chill. So Calming Waves are great. And then we've got this 
plant pot which I think I got from the hardware store but if I find something like it I will link it down below as well and then my favorite which is this beautiful beautiful ruggable rug it's the Cambria Ruby rug and I just love her so much she's so pretty so now that we're done with the living room we're going straight back in to the hallway and we are going to be making a right into the kitchen Now we are in the kitchen. It's a pretty basic kitchen. There's nothing super spectacular. Just a New York City kitchen. She's pretty small, but honestly, I really like her. We're going to show you the counter space first. Right over here, we've got a few cookbooks. We've got like this healthier together cookbook, which is really pretty. We've got a knife set for um, intrude. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Works pretty nicely. Right over here, we have a paper towel Oof. dispenser, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call her, but that's what it is. I think it's very useful that we've put it there instead of kind of just throwing it right over here. This sink is an incredible sink. It's actually pretty big and it's really, really deep in. Doesn't really look like it right now, but it goes really deep in there. So it's really easy to wash pots and pans. And then also it does this cute little thing, which I appreciate because then I can really just clean the sink and everything. Right over here, we've got some soap dispensers. Um, these are from Container Store. They're really cute and I think they work really well in our kitchen. Then I've got a cute little toaster right over here. This toaster is from By Deem. And yeah, I did a sponsorship with them. I really like this toaster. I think it's really pretty and I love, love the color. And then we've got a Keurig right over here. Brandon's mom actually gifted him this Keurig, but I tend to use it way more than he does. Some cutting boards. Right here we have the Caraway Pots and Pans Lid lids oh my gosh pots and pans lids i really like it. it came with this really cute canvas storage system i guess and it's working for us because then we don't have to put it anywhere else and it's super easy to just grab we plop it's really really nice then we are right over here and we have a stove which is a pretty normal stove i think it's actually smaller than most stoves but it actually like i can't really tell at this point, I can't really tell, honestly. We have a little tea kettle right over here from Bed Bath & Beyond. We've got some towels from, I think, Target. Yes, they were like really inexpensive. And then right above here is where it's super cute, in my opinion. My friend Jay actually built me these shelves. He's an industrial designer, so I will leave his information down below. He owns his own business and does things like this all the time. And then right over here, some tapatio. Then we have different type of oils. So this extra virgin oil, and this one is regular olive oil oil, some tapatio because that is a must in this household. And right in here we have some um, teas and K-cups and in here we have usually more granola bars. It's usually stacked to the top but we've gone through those. Right up there we have our Nutribullet, our other toaster, our Smeg one which is pink. I'm thinking of selling that one because I don't use it obviously now that I have my Bideem toaster. And then right above my refrigerator is where I keep my caraway pans. I am such a fan of these pans. I do recommend to not get the cream only because sometimes it's really, no matter how well you take care of it, there will always be like little things on like lighter colors. I kind of wish I'd gotten the green or the like the, I guess like it would be a salmon color, but I try to take um, the best care of my pans as possible. And even with that, there's just a little bit of wear and tear. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. So this right over here, wish it was taller, but it's okay. I really, really like this like storage shelf. I mean storage unit and it's so thin. It's literally five inches wide. So it's really helpful for just being in New York and having literally no space whatsoever. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you. We do have a dishwasher. Obviously, these appliances aren't super new or anything. They're still very nice to have, and I'm very thankful for that dishwasher. I guess if we're going in here, we have a one Diablo salsa from Taco Bell. We have this silverware organizer from Amazon. I wish there were cuter ones, but this is literally so thin that this was the thinnest one I could find. And they didn't have one that was like, whatever, it's fine. I really don't mind too much. I think it's fine for organization purposes. We're gonna go straight into the bathroom.
So this right here is the bathroom. She's pretty, pretty small. Actually, you guys probably can't tell, but it is a New York City bathroom. It's not too beautiful or anything, unfortunately. And just kind of try to make it as bright in here as possible. This corner right here, my towels right over here are from TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something. Then we've got this little like storage unit that I got from Amazon for like 30 bucks or something. It's also like the smallest one I could find because then I also needed to make sure that we had room for a trash can. And then this is more of a fun area. This we got from TJ Maxx, but I'm pretty sure you can find this at Wayfair as well. In this section, I put my perfume and Brandon's cologne right in here. This plant right here is originally from Ikea. So yeah, a good Ikea plant, really inexpensive. They sell their plants there, so love that. This is fake because I don't want anything dying inside my bathroom. <laughs> this little thing right over here, it's like a little container you guys can see. That's from the container store. And then these small little canisters hold like cotton balls, cotton swabs. And this one, I just ran out yesterday. I have to buy the cotton pads. This right here is just where we keep, you know, it's just a medicine cabinet. It's nothing too special. The reason we have this is because Brandon uses this like cape thing so that like no hair falls on here because that is a struggle, okay? Like I hate finding just like beard hair everywhere. This is the sink. I really love this soap dispenser. I think it's really cute. And it also has like the little black so it kind of starts tying in with everything in here. This is a toothbrush holder. And then this is actually supposed to be for your toothpaste, but I don't put my toothpaste there because I don't think it looks nice. Sometimes I put my phone here when I'm trying to like do my hair and like watch a video or something that's what happens I love this curtain from Urban Outfitters so much I think it brings like such a fun pop of color into a bathroom that's essentially just doesn't look as fresh again the bold colors just make it look even more white in here um, and yeah so if you guys want to see in there for a little bit it's literally just a shower head and <laughs> some basic stuff I don't think I showed you this right here but that um, originally is on this floor. There's also this random little mirror right over here. I don't know who put it there, but I kind of like it. So I think that's really pretty. We are going back past the entryway. This right here is our little closet. I can show you after, but she's not very exciting. So I'm gonna go straight into the bedroom. You should have seen the way that you bloom. I think I saw your face in the So like I said, she's quite actually spacious. It's quite nice. So walking in through the doors, we have obviously the bed, but going in here, I'm gonna show you guys my desk area. This is where I get most of my work done. This is where I edit my videos. This is where, you know, I did the nine to five thing. Right now, I kind of just put like a Vice magazine up there that Brandon just gifted me this morning. It's not gonna be there forever. It doesn't even really match the color palette in this bedroom. First, we've got some shelving units from Ikea. They're really nice and helpful. They're not super wide, just in case you guys were wondering. They're quite, they're quite thin, which I like because I only wanted like pictures and stuff up here anyway. This camera actually like goes right over here. We have some eucalyptus fake plants from Amazon and they look really nice, I think, in this space. I have a photo of my sister and I when we were really young right over here. I really love this photo of us. My friend scripted this out for me. She literally, this is her writing, like she can do that. She has like really nice calligraphy styles. And then my old roommate gave me this portrait, which is super cute. I don't know why he didn't love it, but I mean, I am super obsessed with it. And then going down here, I got this take it easy canvas from Urban Outfitters. I really like it as a reminder to just like relax and take it slowly. It always reminds me to like basically take a breath and take care of myself. And I really, really like that. I've just got some essentially just like a calendar that I still haven't hung up that needs to be hung up right over here. But again, wanted to show you guys this video. Not everything is perfect. My laptop, a monitor. 
I've got my iPad and my Apple Pencil, some beats that I use when editing, my 2021 planner, just like a little cup of pencils and pens and my scissors, of course. We've got a chair. This chair is amazing. I got her secondhand, but I will definitely link something similar down below that isn't too expensive. This is actually just a pillow that I used to have and now it's just the seat because a little bit of that chair is broken. This isn't an actual desk. I kind of just made it from random Ikea pieces. This actually is from Lowe's though. So it's just a slab of wood. Right here is essentially just like a drawer. I think it's called the Alex drawer from Ikea. It's very nice, super easy, and it just brings a lot of storage, which is exactly what we need all the time. Let's go into the bed. I love my bed. This bed frame is originally from Wayfair and it wasn't that great until we got a skeleton for it and then it was fine so I wouldn't actually recommend it but it's okay going in to the actual area of the bed that matters we've got the comforter which I got at TJ Maxx and honestly I wouldn't really recommend this either so I'm glad I can't I probably won't be able to find it it just easily rips I'm gonna show you what I mean that just like ripped and it wasn't even like a hard pool or anything. It was like a barely a pool. The actual sheets though, the actual sheets are from Beth Threads. They're an Australian brand and I am such a fan. It did take a second to get here, but honestly it was worth it because first of all, the color is amazing and the sheets just feel so good. Um, especially after washing it for a couple times. I also got these pillows from Target. I think the pillows work really well with just like the overall theme of this like bedroom, I guess, and the color palette. I think it works really well. And then another thing is this throw. I got this throw from West Elm. I just think that adds so much more texture to the room. I think it looks so nice. I just love it so much. So I got that one from West Elm. Both this hanging frame and the poster I got from H&M. Brandon is a little terrified of it. And honestly, okay, I can't blame him. It is a face. I kind of like it, but I might change it just because, I don't know. I guess it might be a little scary. <laughs> and then going right over here, this dresser we originally got, I think, from wayfair or home depot site i'm not exactly sure i also have this really cute jewelry thing um that i got from h&m i think it goes really well with like the mirror and just little different type of brassy or gold um metals in this bedroom this is from urban outfitters right over here this little tray is from h&m and then we kind of have some more perfumes and colognes here this guy is from Target, and this this Oreo is what Brandon calls it, is from H&M. And that's where he stores all of his stuff so that it's not out all over the place. And then right here, we have a mirror, and this mirror is from Amazon. I really, really like this mirror, and it really wasn't that expensive. On this corner, we have Brandon's shoe rack. That's where he keeps all of his shoes, or most of his shoes. We've got our money tree she's okay she's doing okay we've got a little floating shelf that we got from urban outfitters this i think is from tj maxx i'm not sure and then that little guy is from urban outfitters and i just put a little photo of brandon and i right here we have a an air filter i think it's what it is not the prettiest thing but could be worse right here is where i want to hang something i haven't found the perfect thing yet so it's staying blank for now underneath this window right over here We've got a storage bench, so there's actually, this lifts up as you can see, and we have different blankets in there, different bags, just anything that we want out of the way essentially. Fabulous AC unit right over there, needs to be there. We've got this blanket, which I'm gonna toss because it's actually like ripping in certain areas now, it's pretty old. The Dwight, you ignorant slut, we needed this in our room, love it so much. And then this basket we got from TJ Maxx as well, and this is where we put just clothes that aren't dirty that we've only worn once essentially that we could use again but we don't want to put with our clean clothes i don't know do you guys have like a basket or something like that or like a chair in your room where you just throw your things on that's my basket i don't know if i mentioned but the storage bench is from wayfair right here we have a side table which is from urban outfitters originally again got it from facebook marketplace this right here is from amazon it's a fake snake plant since i cannot keep them alive then i've got this cute little vase that my friend Hannah got me super super cute so it is pretty big bedroom in my opinion quite spacious so we're very lucky my closet is right here and I'm telling you there's nothing special in this closet 
other than my clothes. Right here we basically have winter clothes, winter clothes, and then up there we have towels and stuff. It's not very organized down there, that's for sure. And then this side is Brandon's side. And then back here, not the best looking, but we have our towels because they have to dry somewhere. That is where we keep them. And then I have my Forbes bag. Um, I used to work at Forbes and that's where my little Forbes bag goes. Where we started, and this is this little closet that I told you guys I would show you guys, so I'm going to do it. But like I said, it's like this is essentially how much it opens up right now because there's something hitting it. But it's just coats and like random things that Brandon has up there. That's it. And now we're back to where we started, which is this store. And I'm gonna say bye now. Now I'm thinking up, now I'm thinking up. Buy the cottage room blows. Yeah, I wanna try myself inside the jewel.